Hello. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing swell. I swear to God. My hair frizzes itself. In the, f in the five seconds it takes me to hit the go live button. Don't, don't be doing this to me. Don't be doing it. It's hurtful. It's hurtful. How are you guys? Welcome in. Congrats, Rico on first. You were so quick today. How are you? Thank you for the hydrate, Kubo. Hello, Kubo. Hello, Avocado Circles. How are you? Hello, Mr. Sean. Hello, Rico. Hello, Avocado. Hello, Pixel Game Wizard. Hello, Collins. And hello, Dizzy Fish. And hello, Little Salad Man. How are you guys? I hope you're doing lovely. I am doing lovely. We're back on the Breath of the Wild grind, except today. Today. Forgot to put my sick little necklace on. How am I supposed to pretend that I'm a cool guy? How am I supposed to pretend that I'm cool? Oh, geez, that did you just say Nick? It sure is. It sure is. Oh, see, that's why I need the chain for the fit check. For the fit check. Um, I, I started playing Breath of the Wild by myself in Master Mode because I was like, we're not going to get it finished because I was sick for that week and it really brought us down. <laughs> so I decided that I'll probably do like an area off stream and an area on stream. I'll keep all the divine beasts for on stream. I'll, I'll do like all the boring areas off stream. So like, um, Hebra, that will be done by myself. I won't subject you to Hebra, uh, but I'm doing Akala right now by myself. And then we're doing, we're doing Birdman domain. The fit check today, I got my, my baggy sweater. I got my shirt. I got my baggy pants. Okay. We got to have at least two baggy in every, in every combo. This is, this is the outfit for today. This is what we're looking with. Shirt, pants baggy that's the fit I'll, I got my regular socks on I don't got my fuzzy socks on I've been really into my fuzzy socks recently I thrifted this avocado I found this at the thrift store and I was like you're coming home with me <laughs> I'm very happy about it I haven't worn it in a little bit because it hasn't been worn, but today was very warm. I went outside with my nephew and he didn't have to wear a little jacket. 53% love by Bongo? That's quite generous. And 62% stinky. You know what? You're working on it. 88% Canadian is beautiful. Collins, upsetting. Upsetting to see avocado. Upsetting to see... I gotta catch up. Exactly. Exactly. Also, I'm I'm gonna just do my little stories story business while I play Breath of the Wild. They're not they're not, oh, you know what I forgot? Forgot to zoom myself in. Oh, this might not work because of how my OBS is being recently. It might though. Oh, it worked. Okay. There we go. Oh, also, I'm too tall. I was trying to do things for my desk, so I made myself. <coughs> there we go. I have to do a little jump to make my chair go down. <laughs> I was doing uh, tests with my, my desk. I'm trying to figure out my desk setup because I feel like it looks ugly. I don't feel like I know it looks ugly <laughs> and it upsets me and I've just been looking through all my inspo pics trying to figure out what's wrong with it and I know like everyone else has a monitor stand but I was kind of like I don't I have two monitors so a monitor stand doesn't really work because I have to get two of them or I have to get a real long one um, but I found a real long one that's really cute I think a lot of people use it but it's also 300 fucking dollars. I'm like, this is a slab of wood. How dare you do this to me? 
So I have it saved, and if I find a cheaper one, I'll buy that one. Because <laughs> uh, that was upsetting. That was upsetting to be like, this would be perfect, and then scrolling down slightly further and going, oh, <laughs> never mind, that's the cost of my entire desk. So that's a no from me. Solid no. That's just unenjoyable to witness that. But it would look so cute. <laughs> it would look so good. That's only two weeks worth of a paycheck from me. <laughs> I make not that much money. Because <laughs> I babysit my nephew. Uh, but you know, that's how it goes. That's just how it goes. Uh, approximately zero extra dollars. Luckily, I pay for nothing, so all the money that I earn can go right into savings, which I am doing. So, that's good. Or my stream setup. Actually, a lot of my money goes into yarn. <laughs> uh, but I've been trying to figure it out, and one of the things that I think I figured out is, for those who know, I just bought this desk recently, like less than a month ago and i thank you oh thank you Acro. oh you made the little you made the little frog go up wait why is he already at two well thank you Acro. you are so sweet to me look you're number one aren't you you got a little present The frog to a blush. I like that. He, he has a little response, I believe. I think he already gave it or I missed it. I'm not sure. Where does Beetle say thank you so cutely? I think it's from Skyward Sword. I'm not for sure. Acro can correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Skyward Sword. I think it's when he's in his little beetle house that floats around. And you buy something. He goes, thank you. The gift is being a stream, Acro. Please. Where you hear me rant about my ugly desk. Sorry, I haven't even been playing. I was, I went into the game screen to talk and then I didn't do that. So I'm going to do Akala by myself. If you guys want to see me do the maze on stream, I could save that. Um, but I promise you, it's just going to be infuriating to watch. Or I'll just look it up. <laughs> Those are the two options. So we're doing, we're doing Tabantha. That's what we're doing. We should go get the fairy fountain. Because I do want to upgrade my... Soldier gear. Uh, it is in Skyward Sword. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes, welcome in, Brian. Uh, congrats on the sub. Now you got little emotes and ad previewing. But my desk, I figured out what was wrong with it. I just bought this desk, or I figured out what was wrong with my setup. I said everyone else's setup will only have like one monitor. Not necessarily the problem, but that means that they have space like on at least one side of their desk that's like free space where they can see the wall, okay? And it, I don't know what it is, but that adds so much. Like it just makes it look so much cleaner. It's and I don't have that because I have my two monitors on my desk and my PC. So I'm really in a pickle because I just bought this desk and I'm not replacing it. So either I have to buy another desk to tack onto the side or I have to try to, f I have to put my PC on the floor and try to rearrange my uh, monitors a little bit, which I think I could do. I also think Adding something like beside my desk, like shelving of some sort, would serve the purpose. Um, but also, the room that I am in for my desk setup is terrible because I like I cannot even explain to you how bad it is for a desk setup. And you're gonna be like, Nick, you're exaggerating. And oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I've already done this. 
bro powerhouse on this bike to keep his house afloat. Honestly, that would be my worst nightmare. Also, thank you. Oh, thank you for the stretch. I um. I was gonna say something. I never know what I'm saying, honestly. I've been using your streamer's background as I work on my thesis. <gasps> Can you share your thesis? I don't know things about theses, but I know they're important. I know this. But I'm glad I can provide good company. I think Shades does that as well while he's working on his finals. Uh, I know Beetle says thank you in Wind Waker. Oh, he does? I found a video where he does say it in Skyward Sword. So in our chronology, <laughs> Wind Waker Beetle says it first. But in the Zelda time of Skyward Sword, Beetle says it first. Exactly. I like that Beetle is a reoccurring character in the Zelda universe for no reason. <laughs> Just like Tingle. Like it's funny that like it doesn't make sense for there to ever be reoccurring characters besides Zelda Link and Ganondorf. But the fact that just like so many people just like come back and you're like that doesn't it seems a bit off, but I'll accept it. Don't don't it though. What if you didn't? Oh thank you, Rico. I'm ranting about my desk. It's ugly. I hate it. My room. I'm ranting about the room. The room is the worst. Okay, and the reason that it is the worst is because thank you, Mika. Is because there's like there's no okay, there's a singular wall, but there's not really any wall that's makes sense for like a stream setup or like i could make into my cozy little aesthetic spot that i want and it it's so upsetting and the reason it is because this wall on this side to my right has a heater like you know one of those bottom heaters so i can't put anything flush with that wall it also has a window right there that spans basically the entire wall so there's curtains things get in the way ugly on this side over there that's the attic door can't nothing can be flush against there we can't block that completely i have a chair in front of it but that's easy to move ugly that side we have a closet and also the wall bumps out for no reason and the door into the room ugly the, this is the only wall i have things against and it has a light switch and the heat thermostat ugly thank you that's all i needed to say i need to rant about my <laughs> ugly room it's not like a ugly room it's just not made to have anything in it in a nice way and you're like why would you build it this way oh gee nick ready to be heartbroken i'm ready huh has anyone else seen nick's rat fella no you're the only one you're the only one that that saw me. Uh, Mr. Radikins. <laughs> Rico, no! It's funny because uh, when I started stream, that was the last notification in my bar. It was Rico Suave follow. <laughs> and I was like, mm, interesting. <laughs> oh, gee, Polly, look at the Rico. I think I fucked this up. Wait, we just have to sit for a second? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, we still made it. That was really forgiving. <laughs> Sorry, I meant pig. He looks like a rat. Don't make fun of Mr. Chubby Ratikins. Uh, this one, right? I think I'm gonna do the bot like this bottom section first, just to get it out of the way, cause I care not for it. Um. I'm just gonna 
We're just gonna go back. I like to glide down, I don't like to climb. Chubby piggykins? No, he's chubby raddykins. This is Chubby Radikins. He got a little tail. He's got a little ratty tins tail. And he's a Chubby Radikins. I'll change his ears. That's what I think I need to change the most. And also all of him, because he's ugly. Um, also, I was completely planning to have all of Akala done by the time I started stream. As you can see, bro's not even close. Okay, you can't see because I'm in the way. But if you were to see, bro's not even close. Um, I was delusional when I thought that. And also didn't think it would take me a full hour to figure out how to just climb the tower. It wasn't hard, but for some reason I was confused. So... We had to, we had to go through that. You'll never, I'll just say how hurt I was. Why would I accidentally unfollow? Accidentally? Hmm? Hmm? Feels targeted. Thank you for the follow, Kubo. Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Kubo. My bad. My brain's not working. I'm quite tired. I didn't go to sleep at a correct time yesterday. I have to. I had to. I take my nephew to gym on Thursdays, which is in fact today. And uh, and I watch him, so I have to get up at like eight to start watching him. And uh, I went to bed at 4.30. Why, you ask? I also wish I knew. Please tell me when, when you know. And I'll let you know. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, haha. -ha. Okay, I missed like so much chat and I'm up. I'm so sorry. Um, just say your beautiful points again and I will read them again because I didn't read them the first time. Accidentally on some surgeries, you did get aggro. Oh! Thank you for redeeming mod love. Um, it seems that Froggish Bot is slacking, but I'm sure it'll be out and about um, as soon as you know. As soon as you can get there. I don't even know how long I've been following now. I do. I'm pretty sure. Well, let's. First of all, you're at at least six months. Because you have a six months sub badge. I believe you're at seven. I believe you're at seven. Because I think you were one more than the sub badge that you have. That's what I remember. Nick is boy I reached him six hours ago. See, see, I was fine being up at four a.m. It was the waking up, like, two hours later that wasn't great. I know that that math doesn't work out because I said eight, but four thirty was a, a rough estimate, and I think it was probably a little bit later than that by the point in which I chose to sleep. Rude, first of all. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Go in the dish. Go in the dish. Also, I really want to make... I really like baking. And I would like to, like, make little videos for baking. To just, like, put on my, my little YouTube or Instagram or, you know, whatever like that. Because I think it's cute. And I like to do it. 
Um, but I, I have an issue where I cannot do things if I don't like them. Like I, I, you know, <laughs> like if I think it's bad, I'm not, I'm not going to put it out. Sometimes I do. I don't like to say that because then people go into my content expecting it to be good. It's truly not. <laughs> because I will post things now because otherwise I won't be able to post anything. But my standards are very high. And my kitchen is ugly. So I can't post it. And also, I can't because there's people in my kitchen. And they'll... If I start setting up any sort of like my phone to take pictures of me, um, my family would be like, Nick, what the fuck are you doing? And I'd be like, I'm so sorry. I'm just here making little cream puffs. Okay, and they'd be like, Nick, pull yourself together. <laughs> Thank you, God, this amazing shush. But I want it to be perfect, Collins. I like. I've been trying, my problem is I will binge, well I don't binge watch it actually, I need to watch it more, but I'll go and I'll watch the people that I want to be like, and I'll watch their content, and I'll be like, I have none of those things, so I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm famous to know who you're talking to right now. You're right, I should say that. Excuse me, Emma. Do you have 1K on Twitch? Didn't think so. Basically, a celebrity now. Hmm. That's what that's what my friends say. They're like, since Nick is a big time streamer, Nick's paying, right? And I'm like, guys, please. I'm the poorest one here. <laughs> big time streamer. Exactly. Exactly. The card is costly, but for yours truly. I hate that cosplay is so expensive. I would 100% wear so many of them. I really want Hanji from Attack on Titan. Because I think I could... Uh, I actually kind of look enough like them that it wouldn't be that hard to do. Stop jumping. Pull yourself together. Saint 2023. Get, get ready for that. I'll make it happen. I'll make it happen. So basically what I'm saying is I want my own space where my family can't judge me for being cringy online. You know? That would be ideal. Unfortunately, we live in an, a society. And the current average rent um, for my area is $3,000. I wish it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is Canadian, so you'll have to convert that into American. But let me tell you, it's bad both ways. Oh, there comes the mod love. Nick for prime minister? I'm telling you, I think I could do a good job. I think I should get elected, honestly. I usually- oh god, no. Usually you need some sort of like, qualifications, but I think- I just personally think I could do it, you know? I think they should just take my word for it. Don't <laughs> the cookie business Walter White style, please. Nick for Pope? I don't think that's allowed. I think I have to be a man. Just based on what I know about Christianity. Fun fact, I actually went to a, a Catholic elementary school. Not because any of my family is Catholic. It was just the better school. So, my mom put me in there. <laughs> Nick? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
That's my slogan, actually. That's my stream slogan. How did you know? Yes, guys, come vote for me. Three thousand Canadian dollars equals two thousand two hundred and five and five US Canadian dollars. Exactly. Exactly. Not ideal, guys. I don't. I don't know what the average rent is in America, but I watch. I know that some parts of Canada are also like better. It's like just the big cities that are quite bad. You know, the cities that have any type of things in them. And so I know that that's probably, you know, the same in the US, that the bigger cities are bad and the, the rural city, rural, 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 I can never say that word, are better. However, I watch the house shows, you know, like the home makeover shows that they do, and the ones in the United States. I know that it also, there is a money conversion, okay. But still, they, <laughs> they show homes. <laughs> they <laughs> and they're like, yeah, this is about like a, a $300,000 home. And it's like the buyers being like, oh wow, that's a lot. And it's me looking at this home being like, that's a, a million dollar home <laughs> where I live. That would go for a million dollars easily more. <laughs> like, God, I'm so upset right now. I can't fight this guy, I don't have enough weapons. I did not come in here prepared. Maybe if I use an attack one. I mean, is there a trip to Canada to see my friend? But they live in the city, and that's stressful. That's fair. That's fair. I feel like Canadian cities aren't that stressful. Like, none of the big cities in Canada will really be as big as the big cities in the US. So, if you want to think about it this way, um, the entire population of Canada is equal to the population of literally just Tokyo, Japan. Not a lot of people live here <laughs> uh, in com compared to how big we are as a country. Which it always baffles my mind because, you know, there's already too many people here. Just think a good sized box cuts the windows and doors and bring a bucket. Exactly, exactly. That's how that's how you gotta do it. Boom. I wonder if you made your cities in the US and it's just wild. I've been in um Vancouver. To be fair, I haven't been that often. But it's not that bad. In my opinion opinion I'm sure depending on where you go it is worse in some places okay please stop dying though I could never let the USB go me neither honestly I would gen I would genuinely never let that like even maybe for Met much money. So if someone paid me to live in the US, I would do it. I don't think Canada is much better, but it's just enough better that I'll stay here. You know? It's truly cruel. I would move somewhere in Europe if I had the ability to speak another language or my family was close. I don't like not having a safety net because I don't trust myself with my own per safety. What? Hi, Mickey! We're talking about society. Boom. Boom. Uh? <laughs> Rico! 
To be fair, I don't, I don't know it. So, <laughs> someone, someone could torture me for it, and I'd be like, bro, I wish I could give it to you. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't remember things. <laughs> Thank you guys for redeeming your daily milk. We got we got it. I'm surprised we made it through that major test of strength. You know, remember how hard it was for me to do that other one? How did I do this one so fast? One try? Wild. It was Mitha. It was Mitha's beauty. Oh my god. Lads. Lads. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hello listen. Shades, oh my god. What the fuck's wrong with y'all? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the pronoun party. Anyone who's comfortable can add their, <laughs> their pronouns in chat. I use they, them, occasional she pronouns. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are y'all done? Are you done? <laughs> Do you need a minute? You guys are silly and goofy. <laughs> well, you know what? You made a statement. You made a statement and I appreciate that. I'm glad you're still here, Collins. Mia's a frog. Okay. Okay. Let's get the doodle request going. I have to do it now because I'll forget later. Um, do 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 paint. This one? There we go. What <laughs> I can't I can't read chat while I do this. I'm just I'm just gonna do I'm gonna try and make these quick sketches, okay? Quick sketches, just whatever, no erasing. Whatever comes out of my s little mind is what you get, okay? And you, you guys don't get to be upset <laughs> about it. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. And also, how could you be upset about this lad? He is beautiful. It looks just like shades. If anyone's wondering what shades looks like, wonder no more this is it beautiful oh my god oh you know what god i'm so good at this hire me so someone commission me just right now honestly Oof. It's so stunning and beautiful though. Okay, we got that done. We got that. Oh. This is the line work. Uh, this this adds Not enough for me to justify it. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything is fine. We got we got to add this. We got to we got to get the foot shadows in there, you know. Shades. Okay, now to make it shades, okay? It needs to be wearing a red sweater. Literally, if shades were anything other than a red sweater, I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Like, not because I'm actually uncomfortable, but I just feel a general sense of unease. And I can't figure out what it is. And then I realize it's because shades is wearing blue. And I'm like, what are you wearing right now? He's like, a, a sweater? And I'm like, incorrect never do that again only red only red you're not allowed to wear anything else 
because he had two red sweaters in high school and that was the majority of what he wore because they're good sweaters now he's not allowed to wear anything else it's not allowed it's in the terms of our friendship agreement whenever he gives us uh, he gives me my secret little handshake it's in the clause actually if he read the fine print that he wasn't allowed to wear anything other than a red sweater so I would become distressed I'm pretty sure your sweater says something and I could not tell you what it says even though I have seen it many a times I don't know what it says I'm sorry I'm a bad friend but also you still have to wear it <laughs> look at this stuff I wear other colors you do but if in specifically sweaters like if you wear a different color t-shirt that's fine but if you wear a different color sweater that's wrong okay a black sweater that's fine because it's pretty neutral but if you wear i'm pretty sure you wore a blue sweater one time and i'm like this feels wrong <laughs> i was like mm -mm. this is too much difference why does this foot look like that collins what do you mean it's you mean beautiful he sells those online you know so i think you should be thankful you even get to see him look at this stunning so oh you know what i'll add one more thing for you i'll add one more thing for you but only one more thing don't say i never do anything for you okay don't say it. It's not true. <laughs> Me and Shades aren't friends after this. I think he, I'm gonna I'm gonna receive a Snapchat that's like, I need to take a break from our brotherhood. And then you be like, I understand. I'm hurt, but I understand. A little tomato. Oh, you know, I'll add some sesame. Ah! No, I add some sesame. Do you like it? Do you like it? That's you. That's you as a frog. Add it add it to the frog lore, the channel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you everyone for witnessing that. Goodbye, Rico. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good day. And hello, Sunflower Honey. Welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day as well. Sorry, I couldn't read chat because I was just making such a beautiful creation. I would like to go I'm just gonna go up and chat real quick and read um, the protests that were being made by Shades because I missed I feel like I missed the majority of them <laughs> more, more like why did the meme get me though Leonardo de Kekariko please so true though do, do, do. there we go we're getting all the things in this section and then we're moving up hello I am listening Collins no. I don't know, I just want to waste more points. I mean, you're and you're doing it. I support you delivered. You had a goal and you achieved it. And that's worth celebrating. Oh, I don't wear my climbing gear right now. Oh, what? Where is this clock? Where's the clock? I was so certain. I was so certain. 
it was gonna be on this pole. Do you guys see anything suspicious? There's poles over there. I feel like that's slightly too far away. Oh shit! Thank you a lot, the frog is- No, no. It's got two out of five. That's good. That's good. Isn't- That's a m higher percentage than what it had before. So doesn't that mean it's- It's better? Oh, there it is. That means it's doing better. Also, welcome in, it's funny. <laughs> How are you? Oh, okay. So... I do need to be over there. Just later. At a later time. Only lost three percent of blood. Exactly, exactly. It's okay. <laughs> climb, boy, climb. Okay, I think we can do it. Right. <laughs> I'm not much of a res um, order restore, if I'm being honest. just noticed the, fr the frog what is that why is there more frogs what do you mean this frog <laughs> he's been here longer than that frog or these frogs or that frog or this frog i like frogs Thank you, Cora. No, the one with the hearts. Oh. <laughs> so many frogs. You like frogs, so you hurt them. Maybe I just like their pain. Maybe that's my true goal. Oh, I should get, I should get a scale, because eventually I'm gonna need a scale. That's too much work. That's too much. Huh? <laughs> I should go see what mine says. Well, it doesn't say much since my brain is fried from the organizing music class. The tedious jobs will will do that to you. Do you see the uh, Prince Bill is making a new Zelda game? What do you mean? I'm excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Nick hurting frogs. I would never. I would never do such a thing. I glitched my last sword. How? How did he do that? Got the best at three hearts? I'm honestly just impressed. I thought this was going to be a Korok, but we got a whole shrine. Please don't be a major test of strength again, because I don't think I can do that. I do not have the weapons. But we got 38 shrines. We're doing pretty swell. We're doing pretty swell. What is that? I don't know. I'm, I can't do the math for that. That's not for me. This is going to be a leaf, isn't it? You could do it, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we got good weapons from doing the other major test of strength, so we might be good. Free, 
Are you free? Am I doing this correctly? I don't know. Thank you for the hydrate, Kubo. I'm a little sleepy. Are you trying to say you're a little sleepy guy? Me too. Me too. Ah! Bro. Why was I trying so hard for that? Okay. Why did this one last longer than the other one? What did it get hurt by? My leaf? I could have blown it up, I realized, but that's okay. I think we're using more than Nick's pushing a bomba around. And then says, I'm not clear where this is meant to go. I mean, I was truthful. It didn't have a purpose, I didn't need it. Boom. I hope I get a special little weapon. Okay, well I I wish the special weapon was worth more damage. <laughs> Resident Evil 4? I feel like I would not I would not last long with a Resident Evil game, my friend. Too scary. I watched seven being played. Does that count for something? I thought it was a good fun little time. What is this for? Oh, is this useless to me? Is this just for fun? Okay. This shrine feels so familiar. But also not. I think I just did another wind one kind of recently, so that's what I'm thinking of. In the DLC, probably. Well, you know, I saved myself. It counts perfect. I played all of them, I can say. If you want scare, that's either be 7 or 8. I did hear that 7 was the scariest. I couldn't play 7. My boyfriend really wanted me to play it, um, but I just handed him the controller pr relatively quickly into the playthrough. Because, oh my god, Link, yeah, I'm done with you. I Playing the game and watching the game are very different things. Because I could watch him play the game perfectly fine, but holding the controller, I was like, hmm. No, I would not even turn corners. Stop, stay on. Oh my god, is it the drift? Is that, is that what's killing me? I would be a little bit sad if that were the case. The way I play this game is so upsetting. <laughs> oh my god, we're not done yet. Seven for sure. Any part with the dad is so good. Is that the one with the the BOC? Is that that game? Is that, is that the one? Because that's the part my boyfriend doesn't like the most. Oh, I again don't know what I'm doing with it. Uh, it's always why I need to sleep. Good night, Collins. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye. I'll just... Send it over there. Somewhere the drive just the into the garage kills you. Yeah, but is it the one where the grandma has a beehive in her vagina? Or is that a different game? I 
yeah, I feel like I would remember the game, but you know, sometimes you can't be too sure. <laughs> My boyfriend doesn't like that part very much. <laughs> He's like, this is the worst boss fight I've ever experienced. Oh, I see. I need to float this over there. I forgot about the music. Thanks for that. Yeah, have a good night. Have a good night with that on your mind. <laughs> good night, Collins. Yeah. I watched him play through that fight. He had already played through it before, but he wanted me to play it, and I quickly was like, it's a no-go for me. Um, and then... I think I got to the dad part. Like, where the- oh, I should actually not be doing it that way. Like, where he kills you in the van, or kills you in the car. Actually, I might have not even made it that far. I might not have even made it to the house, honestly. No! You're going too far! Stop! Stop! Stop moving! Can I get another one? Is this... Wait. Wait. <laughs> Why did I... I was even worried. <laughs> I have systems in place for this. The computer to be fair, if I didn't have bomb arrows, that's how I would have to do it. But I didn't have bomb arrows. I don't even know what the small key is to. Usually you see that beforehand. Is it? I feel like that's the only place I haven't been. So it's probably over here. Just to educate the kids. That seems right. There we go. Have to experience Nick playing a horror game. I feel like I haven't. I'm I'm not very good with horror games. The only horror games I played are like Phasmophobia is the one that I can play for some reason. I think it's because it's with friends. I'm I'm good with it. Although to be fair, if the ghost is coming for me, I will stare at the ground while I'm running so that I don't have to see it. But that's besides the point. I don't want to interrupt the grandma for you trying to talk, you know? It's good to have those talks amongst friends, you know? Do, 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 do. 40. Almost at 40. Also, we reached 300 Koroks, which is 33.333% of the way there. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty swell. Don't talk to my grandma like that, Akra. Disgusting behavior. <laughs> oh, that I didn't. I was complaining about my desk, but I didn't complain about other things. I'm really good at complaining. I've really perfected the art. But today, I took my nephew to gym class, which requires a little drive, a little journey in a vehicle. Okay. So I drove him there. Um, already, I have an N on my car, which I realize apparently isn't a thing in the United States. You guys don't have Ns. You just go from a learner to your full license, which is fucking wild. Because I do not have the confidence in- I want to have the N. I want to have the magnet on my car that says, don't trust me. I need people to know. I need people to know what to expect, you know? So, I'm happy to have that. But I have my N, which is between learners and full license. Um, 
And so I feel like sometimes that makes people more easily annoyed when they're driving around me, but that's fine. I care not. Um, do you have to turn in the end? What do you mean by that? Like, do you have to test? I You have to get tested again to get your full license, to get your N off. It's not like a waiting period. Because I would get the full and keep the N to be safer, to be honest. Yeah, I think you just get to keep it. Because you can just go get them for free, I'm pretty sure. At least you can with the L's and stuff. I, I know we for sure have just a bunch of my L's lying around. And no one is an L anymore. Um, but the, there's like different restrictions for ends. There's a few restrictions for ends that I don't agree with, but that's besides the point. Uh, but the end is like one of the main major restrictions is you can't have more than two people in the car that aren't family members. And that's just to try to like not have liabilities because ends are more likely to get in a crash because they're like just got their license type of thing. And so it kind of prevents you from killing people that aren't your family. <laughs> Which honestly, love to see it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to be sued by other people <laughs> if I get in a major car accident. Which, you know, I think I'm pretty good. I don't think I ever would get in one. And if I did, it would be someone else's fault. And then I could sue them. <laughs> Gotta get... I'm still hoping to get hit by my college bus so that you know I can get the free ride but that's okay we all have our goals in life but <laughs> dying with family is the way to go says Canada dying with family is the way to not get sued says Canada <laughs> um, and it's like immediate family I believe I'm not for sure because um, I know it's kind of annoying because because my, me and my boyfriend don't live together, we are technically have no relation to each other. So I'm not allowed to have like him or his sister in the car at the same time. And I'm like, uh, I kind of honestly forget about it all the time, but that's, <laughs> that's the major one. I don't think I've ever done that because I just have never had a reason to drive both of them, but I wouldn't be allowed to. If me and my boyfriend had been living together for two years, then I could, because then we're, we would be considered, um, what's it, common law? But anyway, back to back to my story, okay? I was, I was, we, me and I took my nephew. We went to a little bakery, okay, and I, I got two little scones to share with me, him, and my nana, and I was pulling out of the like parking lot for like you know the little complex or whatever where we got them okay and i'm sitting there waiting to make a right turn and all the cars are still going because there's like a intersection it's a pretty major road okay i'm just waiting there's a bunch of cars i can't turn right there's no space for me i just wait here okay and then there's like a little bit of a gap but not enough for me to go and then the person who's like coming this way has their signal on like they're gonna turn into where I'm turning out but I do not trust people okay I have had my turning signal on many times by accident okay I forgot to turn it off when I had changed lanes because sometimes it'll auto do it for you okay and sometimes it doesn't and then I tune out the sound of my little clicker so I don't trust people just having their turning signal on I'm not gonna pull out hoping that they stop so I wait until I can visually see them decelerating and this bitch behind me honks at me i almost put my car in park <laughs> i was like how dare you i have a child that is not mine in the car you want me to kill him right now they were turning okay but how was i to know the turning signal was not enough i don't trust the people and then to further that, to further my belief on my street, okay? Not my street, pretty close to my street, major highway, okay? I, some guy is just having a time. He, it is his life 
mission to be in front of me, even though literally if he waited less than two seconds, I would pull into the left hand turn lane and he would not need to speed up to get past me. Alas, he does so. The light turns red and I watch him just fully plow through that red light. He had, he had enough time to stop fully. The, it was red before he entered the intersection. I was like, I don't trust the people. I do not trust the people. How? And it just made me more angry at the unrelated person that honked at me. <laughs> Completely different people. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I hate it here. <laughs> How rude. Luckily, none of the cars were going. But every time I see that, I, I'm just I feel more confident about having a driver's license. I'm like, well, if you drive, I can also drive. <laughs> I don't trust them either. Exactly, they're all wrong. I'm not great either, but at least I'm not dangerously wrong. I'm just stupid wrong. As much as I want to save for Pepper Redeem, I'm boycotting it till I see Simon turn, turn in. Simon doesn't come upstairs. He was actually, he was upstairs a while ago, but it was for a very short moment and I was confused by it. Pepe was up here and he, I watched him, I watched a cat walk into my room and I look over and Pepe is still sleeping on the chair. So I was like, who's that? And I realized it is Simon. I was like, what are you doing here? You don't allow him upstairs? He's fully allowed to be upstairs. Um, Peppy and him have just claimed their own doma domains. Peppy spends most of her time upstairs or in the basement, and Simon spends most of his time on the main floor. I despise people in their cars. I also do. I also do. I'm a bit. Stop. I'm a big advocate for just getting a sexy little train so that an efficient and sexy train so that people can just take the train, you know? No more cars, just train. You know how mo much more walkable our cities would be if the only necessary transport we could just confine into a train it would be perfect it would be perfect yes nick just a train guys we could do it we could reinvent society okay first first order train that would also not only would it make everything better but it would make also carbon emissions better because now we just have a train we don't have 600 cars with individual people in them we have one singular large vehicle with 600 people in it. the train give me a train <laughs> sidewalks do be beginning to be a thing of the past it's cities are designed for cars and not people and that's why everyone hates them that's all i gotta say Thank you for redeeming still here, something bar honey. I'm glad to see you still here. Uh -huh. Your hair looks so long now. Are you keeping it or trimming it? Uh, I usually uh, trim it slightly. Um, so I, so I say again, Nick, for five minutes there. Exactly. First order of, bin is of business, um, train. No other. No other necessities, just train. Thank you for the scream, Christian. I I usually trim it a little bit. I usually trim for my bangs, but my um my layers need to be done like this are really grown out. I've kinda planned to just do it myself. Because every time I go to the hairdresser they do it so incredibly wrong that it's laughable. Um so I've just started do, trying, I haven't actually tried to do like the layer part myself completely, but I think maybe I just will. 
my hair is in such a choppy style that I think even if it was wrong, it would be fine. <laughs> That's <laughs> you can check this. Among Us? Among Us? Oh, look at this convenient little rock. If you elect me for prime minister, I will implement the train. I know that that affects not the majority of you because you live in the US, but just just wait. I You could also have a train. I'll apply for dual citizenship, which I know is not how that works. And I will also be president. I'll just, you know what, I'll do both. I'll do both for y'all and I'll get you a little train. How, how does that sound? More trains would be nice, but they also have their limitations. Can have, uh, can't have stations too close and frequent intervals or walking will end up being faster. You see, I agree. I agree, Mr. Sean. I think we should just encourage more walking. Because I have seen some people and they they talk about oh it's not walking distance and it sure is it sure is this is only a 20 minute walk you can walk there <laughs> i you know i think you're good but i also agree i think maybe we could have two trains i know it's crazy i know it's crazy talking but i think two trains ideal ideal situation for for every city I'll just move to Canada. Okay, Acro moves to Canada once I implement the train. Two, I know. We're really... We're getting crazy out here in Canada with our... Our love of multiple trains. Does this go in the middle or... Stop following me. I'm trying to process. Stop it. I'm trying to figure it out. I like to think of the Koroks like the house elves from Harry Potter and which or like I guess specifically Dobby in which that they are very passive okay they're like oh little cute sweet little guys but also they're like way stronger than everyone else in the universe and they will just Thanos snap you if they feel like it you know like i think that if i was really in danger over there he would have yeeted those keys into another dimension and that's that's my, that's my korok head cannon thank you for coming to my ted dog and you might you might say nick if they are all powerful how come they are all lost i said okay intelligence stat quite low okay power very high intelligence law okay i those things are not they don't have to coincide we're all fine and dandy here thank you for the hydrate my pipe dream is to move out of the u.s i believe in you and i understand why I feel I if I was shooting for the moon, I'd probably move somewhere like Sweden. I feel like that would really turn out well for me. But I don't know Swedish. I know that like 90% of Sweden knows English, but I feel like I would want to know the language of the country that I live in. Um, and I'm really bad at learning languages, especially ones like Swedish that have I believe you have to roll your R's in Swedish sometimes and I am incapable of doing so yeah Sweden, Finland, and Denmark see those are those are my go-to's those are the go-to's boom boom 
Are you still learning Japanese? I haven't learned that in a very long time. I was taking it in university because I needed a second language for my arts degree. Um, and I would have really liked to continue it, but I kind of just really did not enjoy university. And so I stopped taking any classes that weren't necessities so that I didn't have to stay there any longer. But I took two courses in it. I did really good in the first one. The second one, the pandemic hit and uh, it, it was okay. I think I got a B. <laughs> I think I got a B. I remember minimal things. I can ask you if you speak Japanese and I can tell you I don't understand. And that's truly what's important. I like their month system though. I think it makes a lot of sense. It's just the number and then the word month. January is one one month. February is two month. It's perfect. It makes it so much easier for me to remember what number the months are. Because whenever I have to remember, like, figure out what month is what number, I have to count it on my hand and sing the months on. January. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. The same song, the same song I learned in kindergarten. I gotta use as reference, okay? And if if our months just were one month, two month, three month, I would not have this problem. I would not have to sing my silly little song. To figure it out. Can't roll R since we just, just claim you're trying to learn Finnish. Uh, so just they don't roll their R allegedly. Aren't Sweden and Oh no, I don't think it's Finland. I think it's is it Sweden and Denmark that is in like um a silly little beef with each other, you know? Not like a genuine beef, but like they they have a funny little country rivalry, you know? You know how the peoples have that? I don't know who our country rivalry is. I would like to start one. Can we can we have like a rivalry with Australia? I think that would be pretty sick. They would they would definitely win, but I think if we implemented emus into our our rivalry that we would have a fighting chance. Maybe we have a rivalry with the US, but I, I don't really think so. We just kind of live on top of them and and we just kind of chill there. Yeah, emus. I'm sad the whiskey war is over between you and Denmark. Me? Canada? Australia already has beef with someone, I think. It's rough out here. Who doesn't have a beef with someone? What was our whiskey war about? Is it because we also make whiskey? Which is actually something I only learned recently. Like that's something we were supposed to be known for, I think, maybe. I don't think that's it should be correct. Boom. Also, I <laughs> me and my boyfriend were having a talk about um my boyfriend is into like mixology and stuff and likes to learn about it. And I was, so I was asking him questions about um, like Bloody Marys and Caesars because I think that they are just fucking atrocious and just an absolute, it's a stain on humanity, honestly. And we're talking about Caesars specifically because they are worse. And I was like, who made, like what country is responsible for this? <laughs> and he was like, and readying my response to be because they should be put on a watch list and he was like Canada and I was like oh we should be monitored <laughs> we should we should be held accountable for those crimes and I think it's funny that of all the thing like food products that Canada has manufactured okay that Caesars are the ones that are like world widely accept 
accepted, or at least in the United States. Like, why was that the thing that came down? It's the worst. It's disgusting. Have I ever drank in one? No. But I know the contents. I know the contents. I don't need to know more. I don't need cold alcohol soup. Cold alcohol tomato soup is not what I want. And then he kept being like, yeah, and it's usually with like sided with like a greenery of like a celery or like asparagus or something. I'm like, you're only making it worse. I hate all of the ingredients you just mentioned. The whiskey war was known as the liquor wars. It was a pseudo confrontation and a border dispute between Denmark and Canada over Hans Island from 1972 to 2022. Ah, oh, it was a little bit of a dispute between the two nations. I didn't even know. I didn't even know about this. I've I've missed I've missed the disputes. Bring them back. Bring them back. Australia's beef with itself. I think Australia should have more self confidence. I'm just doing good. I don't know much about it, honestly. Are the winds the winds the winds do not appreciate my course of action. Uh, you can ask Swedish differently from the Stockholm standard. Just claim you speak it in a non standard accent like Finnish, Swedish, or Scandi Swedish. I see, I see, like a different dialect. Oh, we were told something similar in, like, in Japanese. Um, usually for things like um, you'll say des. And I completely forget what it like directly translates to, but I think it's kind of like is or something like that. You'll say it for like when you're saying your name, you say Niku des. And it's like it is kind of similar. I'm not exactly sure what the direct translation is, but it often goes on the end of sentences like that. It, it is it's something. It's something that someone smarter could, could tell you. Okay. And <laughs> and but it's spelt um D E S U. And so usually in Japanese that would be pronounced desu. But in this specific context, the U on the end isn't pronounced, so it just it's just des. And my teacher was like Technically, there is a dialect that um, does say, you say the U on the end. And, like, it's not wrong. But if you guys say it, they'll just think you're stupid. <laughs> and I was like, no, Deb. Understood. That's fair. Um, it's because uh, death is the most common and accepted way to say it. Oh, this is a far drop. Oh, I forgot I can just do this. Boop. Boop. It's still so surprising to me how, um, oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, let's just start from here. We'll start moving down this way. How, negatively poutine is received around the globe i just don't understand why like people act like it's so odd as if potatoes and gravy and cheese is not combined in like every other form like I don't know. I've never had, see, like, if you've never had it, that's, that's different. That's just like a, oh, I've never tried it. But some people have, like, such strong opinions. They're like, oh, I would never have that. That sounds so weird. And I'm like, how? Potatoes, gravy, and cheese are combined in almost every other form of potato. I don't. <laughs> but if you fry it, now, now you're done. Now you're done with it. I feel like that's that would be ideal. How many forms does gravy have? Many. Chicken gravy, beef gravy, other gravies. 
fake gravy. <laughs> Some runnier gravy. Thicker gravy. <laughs> you know, it's all trying to be a similar thing, but sometimes it doesn't succeed. <laughs> Okay, I'm sold. But you see, for me, you would have mashed potatoes in gravy easily, okay? You would even have cheesy potatoes and meat together, which, you know, is just unliquefied gravy, is what meat is. Fun fact. <laughs> Those, like, they're not odd ingredients to put together by any means. Which is why I'm just so confused by the backlash. You know? You don't have to like it. But I, I don't see why people have such... I've seen strong opinions about it. I'm like, sir. You eat very similar things. Daily. Is it mostly brown gravy? I think so, yeah. That's what I've seen. That's what I've eaten. I don't eat it that often. Like, I, It's less common, I think, on the on the west. I think it's more common on the east, but like it's definitely a thing that we have here. Meat is not liquid gravy. No, no. Meat is unliquefied gravy. Gravy. Li gravy is liquid meat. And then it's like cheese, not cheddar, because I feel like that would be odd. I think it's mozzarella. I'm not for sure. And it's like a cheese curd. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what that means. It just tastes like cheese to me. But uh, specifically, it is a curd, apparently. I do not follow. Because gravy just comes from the drippings of meat. So technically, it's just meat that is a liquid. I also, um, this is how it goes. Yeah, but it's also the meat part. Sometimes. <laughs> Some, there's meat bits that get in there. It's like soup. Good soup. Doop doop. Oh, Link. Oh, Link. Oh. Mm. That's like grease. I mean, it's probably grease too. It's probably the fat from the animal as well but also meat <laughs> Nick telling me to eat grease I'm I'm telling you to eat gravy is gravy a foreign concept to you gravy is very an, a normal ingredient I should convince my Nana to make Yorkshire puddings and gravy. Do, 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 do. Uh, generally, you cook it the pan directly. Do. Oh, I've never done that avocado. That does sound tasty. Okay, no, Link. You got this. No, no, just run up. No, no, you got this. No. 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 I said no. Sounds like you're explaining grease, but that's just how you make gravy. That's what it is. So if it is, if that is, it probably is a lot of grease, but that's just what gravy is. Gravy was grease already. Maybe the real gravy was the friends you made along the way. Also. Speaking of other things that you guys should also accept from Canada, ketchup chips. They are the best chip. Please, why won't you eat them? They are so good. I say, coming from someone who does not eat ketchup that much, okay? They are a good, they're a good chip. I've also never had those two. They're a good chip. I should really stop trying to do this, knowing that I cannot. Is the Korok even up here? I'm 
gonna look up where this guac is. Mustard chips better disgusting. To be fair, I just don't like mustard, so I would I would never like that, no matter what. I'm at least a neutral participant to ketchup. Sometimes a willing participant in the ketchup consumption, but only sometimes. I like it on my fries. Korok Tabantha. Okay, where is this one? This one is number 24. Where are you at, bestie? Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's not, I thought it was gonna be like a rock on top. I guess that doesn't make sense because the bird would be up there, but that's okay. Am I even at the top of this? No, bro, what are you doing? I'm not big on ketchup, the mustard. Uh, lost most of his plain chips. Uh, see you really I shall see. Good night, Agro. Um, Agro, thank you for joining. I hope you have a very good night. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for talking about gravy with me. <laughs> Dude. Ranch is where it's at for any fry. I also don't like ranch. I'm a picky guy. <laughs> I'm a picky lad. I've always been a picky eater. It's, ju it's just how we live. I used to only eat rice, noodles, and potatoes, and cheese. And you know what? I've stayed true to that diet. I have my climbing gear on. I don't have the headpiece. I have no, I found a flat spot. We're good. Oh! Hello, Teddy Carlo! Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Nick. We're working hard at some Breath of the Wild. I'm trying to find this Korok that's supposed to be up here. How are you? How was your stream? What were you playing? Let me pause. How do you not have the headpiece? I don't know where it is. I assume I just get it from a shrine and I haven't got the shrine yet. So I got the other ones from a shrine. Uh -huh. Is good place in Roblox? <gasps> Lovely. I'm working on my 100% of Breath of the Wild Master Mode. We're, you know, we're trying our bestest to finish the band that Link is dying. Link is dying. We're talking about Bravey and Link is dying. There we go, okay. Let's go. Is there a cooking thing in here? I'll just try to make some stamina stuff real quick. This is my problem. Actually, my problem is that I need Rivali's Gale. Two. We're working hard. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. So we did all the bottom region of Tabantha. And now we're doing up here. Boop. I go but now. Hope you have. I uh, hope those things goes well. Good. Yeah, thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Bye bye. Thank you for the rain. We're we're getting all the stamina fruits. We'll get there. I don't know if I have any other stamina stuff. I don't also don't know if this will be enough to help me. Do I have a stamina potion? No, that's a lightning one. Oh! Oh, that's the stuff I just made, you dumb bitch. God, I need to sit down. <laughs> Is this stamina? Oh, this is. Hold. What do I have to mix these guys with? Monster parts? They'll make an elixir? Right? I don't know how many. Can I just keep adding monster parts? Oh, 
We'll find out. Oh, I did. Oh, did the multiple not matter? Did that not have any effect? Which one would is going to be most effective? I think probably the Moblin Guts, honestly. Sorry, sorry to cook the frogs. Don't look, guys. Don't look at the frogs being cooked. Nyx is all your friend, I promise. I... I refuse to use elixirs, not purposefully. I just don't like them. Cause these ones, at least these ones like replenish hearts, but usually they don't. And so I've just ignored them because that's mostly what I need. And cause I got all the armor basically right away. So I never really needed any boosts. Hello, Hobo King Nichols, how are you? I hope you're having a good day. Link is struggling, but but managing. <laughs> I usually go for those alphas because it makes it uh, better because they're stronger. I didn't know that. I assumed it was just based on their difficulty. I know nothing about elixirs. I have, I have ignored them completely in this game. I'll be honest. Hey, how are you? Your head looks great. Oh, thank you. I am doing so well. I had a day. And now Link is also having a day because he has to climb this mountain a hundred times. And none of them correctly. <laughs> okay, Link, you got this. Link, don't even worry about it. If I drink the other one, will it add? Or will it just not count? I feel like it should add, but I'm not smart enough to know. No, not count? Thank you. Avocado out here being my Zelda encyclopedia, as if I should not be that myself, but I am not. Thank you. I'm sure there's an easier way to climb this, but that's okay. I wish it stacked me too. Me too. I could see it stacking to a certain extent. I could see why it can't just s stack no matter what, but that's okay. Okay, now I gotta make this in, in one shot. Do you guys see the balloon yet? Don't fall off the edge right now. That would be really embarrassing. I don't see the balloon yet, which stresses me. What if it's under me and I did all this for nothing? You know, the easier way to do this would, to, would be to defeat the Divine Beast and then just warp here. But we're not about the easy life, okay? We're about doing it right. We're about doing it correctly. And somehow... We're just, you know, we're gonna give myself a minute. And somehow this is correct. What is the glowing green line? That stresses me. That's a little bit stressful. Where is it? Where's the balloon? I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm stressed. We're losing, we're losing stamina. If I can just get over this ridge, I think I can stand on it. Link, you can do it. Link, you can do it. Link, I'm so, you can do it. <laughs> Link, you are so wrong and stupid. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Uh, Daddy, a cat? Let me know how to say it properly, but welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Link isn't, but he's trying. Do, do. Uh, 
Did I cast? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That makes sense. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. I, I'm just trying to find this singular balloon, which I didn't think was going to be such an occasion. Found it. There we go. Come here. Come here. Link. Link. What are you doing right now? I'm done with him, honestly. You're so useless to me. We did it. Thank you so much. You know, you know why this was hard? You guys did not remind me to rub, to rub the bottom of my Cora for good luck. Okay. Now we'll be fine. You guys are wild that you just let me do that. <laughs> the way I guess when he slipped me too. I thought he was done. I thought he was falling to his demise. But look how dead on my stamp is though. Can we all appreciate that? Thank you. It was appreciated. I felt it. Does the car consent to this bottom rubbing? Always. He asked for more actually. And I said no. And he has to wait. Yeah, you found me. Look at those 305 Koroks. We got this. We got this, friends. A bunch of these shrines are... Um, quest shrines. So we'll see. We'll see if we can trigger them right now. I don't know if they have like certain spawn things. Is this the warbler nest one? Perhaps. Mr. 305, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> exactly. That's me. Oh, I actually have 320. What a surprise. I forgot that that number wasn't accurate. I jumped up so much. We're doing so good. Dang, Nick, really doing it. Oh my goodness. I'm having such a time. Oh, this is not. That's not the one I thought it was. Where's the warbler nest? Is that this one? Okay, that must be this one, right? This one? No. Yes. <laughs> I think it's this one. Because I know I, I just had my boyfriend do the Warbler Nest one, so I know that one at least a little bit. Oh, there it is. I see it. I'm gonna go back up here. Do you think Koroks smoke weed or do you think that's forbid? Look at him! He is a weed. You think he smokes himself? How could you insinuate such a thing? That's his friend. That's his friend. Disgusting behavior. Only if they donate their body to science. Av you're an avocado, though. That's completely different. You <laughs> made a weed with you, smoke yourself? No. No. I'm unhealthy enough. I don't need more of me in me. You know? I'm good. I'm also circles. Which Mickey hates my view. 45% pretty good. When the Quark's life person dies, they smoke them. <laughs> I accept that. I accept that 100%. That's factually accurate. 
That's what happens. Can <laughs> gonna make 50% despise. Exactly. Thinking on the positives, Avocado. That's that's what you got. Yeah, ha, ha. I still haven't found one that matches my Korok friend, which is my Breath of Wild goal. Oh, it's 3.35 a.m. Maybe that's why the, the small Raito child is not out and about. Where's the rock? see how slay I am. I haven't done one today. Oh, why are we so- oh, my caps lock is on. Oh, also, it's not fucking slay. Why don't I know my own commands? The caps lock is still on. <laughs> 80%? I don't think I've ever got so high on the, on the Mickey Gale. I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired, Avocado. <laughs> I'm just living my life. 59? Not bad. Not bad. Above 50. Bye bye. Goodbye, Clock. Nick is pretty slay today. Thank you. I'm slaying, just not that, Clock. I don't know what any of it means, so I'll take 59%. Mickey is my uh, my mod, and you're just comparing your slayness to them because they're very slay. She's extremely slay. Here, I have this. No, no, the it doesn't lie. It can't lie. It's always correct. Where's my wood. I ask myself that every day. Oh, I guess I do need flint. I thought I still had the flame blade, but it broke. Uh, no. I hate the drift. Every time is- I should just get used to it by now, that it does that every time, but I'm not. Okay. You go here. Noon. We did it. I have enough points for not one, but two custom commands. Oh my god. You have, what is it? How much is that? You have 30,000? Bro. What the fuck? How did you get that many? What have you been doing? I didn't think that you were all that relative, all that conservative with your points. I haven't noticed any hoarding going on. It's wild. It's wild business. Okay, maybe I have to start it up here. Oh, that's right. There's the right of lady. She's screaming for no reason. I have to go talk to her. And she'll be like, where's my child? And I'm like, shouldn't you know that? It's not really my job. 33.8 to be exact. Are you saving for something? Goodness gracious, you're out here, you're um, you know, single-handedly sustaining the dairy industry, you got so much milk. Got so many milk points. Mm. 
Give me the mission. Can I go find her now? Oh my god, I have to do Divine Beast first. God, why was I there? Why was I there then? Let's go. Uh, let's head to... We'll meet Tebo today. There's the bird, but there's the bird themselves. I love milk after all. Good. Good, good, good. A good fit for the chat. Tebo's my favorite. I do like Tebo. Have you... Are you concerned based on the, the new trailer? About Tebo then? Not to concern you, but I, I might be a little bit concerned. Just a little bit. Oh my god, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh my god, we made <laughs> I don't want to be concerned, but I am. Also about Yunobo. That's the Goron. I always forget their name. Yeah. To be fair, I didn't... I wasn't a super big fan of him. I didn't dislike him, but I was just kind of neutral to him. So the fact that he isn't in there doesn't really bug me, but I am excited to see who they replace him with because the baby Gorons are my favorite. I know that doesn't make sense for a baby Goron to be part of it at all, but I think it would be very cute. Have you played Age of Calamity? I have not. I know that there's a lot of story in there and I would love to. I'm going the wrong way. <coughs> but I haven't. We don't know how grown up she is though. We don't know the Nothing. I like her short hair. I think she looks so cute. I want to know how big the, the time skip is. Like how much we missed. What happened? How old everyone is. Link is now. I, I don't even know how old Link is now. I thought I saw something that was like 17 or something. I was like, Link, pull yourself together. Oh, it's eight years? It's confirmed? That's exciting. Oh, so then, um, she, oh, she's like 12 in this game, so she'd be 20? I like her short hair. No, I have no idea. You're just playing with me. You're playing with me. I was so excited. I feel like eight years makes sense. It might be a little bit long because some of the characters don't look super aged. But then, we don't know how fast Raito age. Because there's two Lin in there, and they're clearly much, they're clearly older, but kids also age fast, you know, because they're having actual rapid changes. They're growing. So that, that could easily be two years. <laughs> so, well, Zelda was barely 18, so I would just assume Link was a similar age. This is fair. Oh my god, the people are not here. Bro. What what are you doing? Where's the lad? Do I have to talk to the owl, don't I? I haven't talked to the owl. I'm so sorry. I'm leading you guys on this goose chase. No pun intended about the bird. Because I just I forget what I have to do to unlock certain things, and I'm just used to having them already okay i'm gonna just leave that open so that i can warp there i go talk to the bird i come back link is usually a young adult or a teenager see i know see i know this okay this is true but in the breath of the wild instance it's different because he is an actual soldier you know, in the other ones, he's just some guy. Um, and in Breath of the Wild, he's an actual soldier. So either Hyrule is enlisting child soldiers 
because he's fully like an armored guard by 17 which means he was already a soldier for a while i i think hyrule should not be doing such things personally it's my personal opinion ah. i fell but also i know that there's like a funny little diary thing entry i think that talks about link like taking on three grown men at the age of like six which i think is hilarious <laughs> just the things i would pay for the memory of that i want to see it i want to see baby link beating the shit out of trained soldiers that's what i want Uh, I assume she did indeed go up. I did think. Well, she tried to eight change during the memories. Oh, yeah, because she did that thing. She's hoping, like, the memories would come to her. It was her 17th birthday? I'll check. I'll check. I don't remember. I have no. I have no basis. I have no basis. Breath of the Wild. Zelda. Age. Technically. Link is like a century old, so. Okay, well, I didn't mean the game because it told me six years. That's not what I wanted to know. Oh yeah, Princess Zelda is 16. So she turns 17 would make sense? Or does she turn 16 in the memories? Come here. This was 16 years old with the threat of calamity. Blah, 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 blah. Soon after his 17th birthday. There we go. Okay, it's 17. We were close. We're close. Uh, I want very badly to believe she wasn't a child at war. I mean, to be fair, adding one year wouldn't really change anything because you don't really just become an adult at 18 but it is still sad that's right i like that i can just say no you got this buddy this is all very important who is half hi okay i now have have it as an ability to uh. even <laughs> Fight on metal. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're having a moment. That was one kind of stop. Stop. Stop this. It wouldn't, but I think 18 year old me and 17 year old me, and I think me at 18 would be more capable. Well, to be fair, that's true. Adding another year of experience is always better. But it's this. Thing. I agree. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the Yo. sky. Yet I have made an art of creating up? updrafts that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper I feel like the Rito would make way more sense than the Zora in this game. I hate that the Zora then, are like the born with little no skirts. But let's not like that's just so their blunt. flesh. The fact that I, I the hate their flesh skirts. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking over the people because I can't it hear. Seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you, all because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. I like Birdman. How about up there? Fun fact: He's like me for real. A bitch. Oh, you must pardon me. 
I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. His little back thing looks like a Korak. Good luck sealing the darkness! I forgot the divine beast started off nice and they just chilled in there. Descendant. Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. This is disrespectfully. Exactly. Also a little bit disrespectfully. Do do uh, voice by man. In square in six marvels Avengers game. I see ya. Did I I'm excited because I heard that to be fair, do I watch this sh the the D and D show? No. But I like D and D and I feel like I would like to watch it. Um But I heard that uh Matt Mercer is voicing Ganon and I thought that was really exciting. That was pretty cool. In the Tears of the Kingdom. I don't watch, I don't watch it, but I would. I will see a lot of clips. I see a lot of D&D clips from them. So that's how I watch. He's born with a roll of Ganondorf. I, I do not know people, so I have no idea who that is. I feel like I would, I don't know what I would want for a Zelda movie. I feel like I wouldn't want one just to save myself the pain. Oh my God, he's gonna be regenerating. I forgot about that one. Stop doing that. Don't. He's the captain in Mass Effect. I got through with an excellent voice. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know the mass. I don't know what it is. I don't know things. I wish I knew the things, guys. Okay. I. I've said it once. I've said it before. I don't do names. I don't know the people. Okay. Names and dates. I will never know them. They will never be known by me. <laughs> you love it? Is it a game or a show? Because that's the first the first line of questioning that I need to know. Boop. Ah! It's a game? Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm only good with very specific pieces of information, like random things about Zelda and whatever anime I'm currently into. That's that's my expertise. Oh, it went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. Space Opera RPG with. Um, with a trilogy and a fourth game separate than the main game. Like Battlestar Galactica. My, we, me and my uncle, my uncle had watched it before, but he had me and my Nana watch Battlestar Galactica with him and my Nana loved it because it was just a, a soap opera in space. She loves soap operas. Hello, Finefold, how are you? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. What are you up to? I'm. We're working on shrines. We're, we just had a little flashback about Ravali, Kingbird. Uh, I say I saw you at all the crochet. And everything is so cute. Oh, thank you, Blindfold. I've been having so much fun crocheting my little lads. Uh, I'm having pretty much balance. Like, I could definitely influence it. Oh. 
I watched that. I watched that one. How was your day, Blindfold? I hope you're doing well. Do you have any plan exciting plans for the weekend? I saw slow your name cuz it looks so good and professional. I'm I'm being a little professional guy. I wanted to get them for like if I set up at little craft fairs with my crochet and stuff. I would want to have them to hand out. So that's that's what they're for. Although I have not enough stock for any craft fairs and I haven't planned to go to any yet, but I really want to and so I'm just planning ahead. <laughs> I'm planning ahead. I'm gonna get all the things to do it before I'm even like, hmm, maybe I should yeah. plan this. <laughs> Hello, Teba. I like Teba a lot. I don't know. Just a chill weekend, so no big plans for me. Those are my here. favorite weekends, you though. Probably go. Those are my favorite. I hope you have a lovely, relaxing weekend. You thought. You just finally start my own Etsy? Yes, do it. You got this. Mm -hmm. I can help you. Hmm. Help me with what exactly? Bameto. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants me to help you bring down Divine V's Bameto. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba, but you already knew that. I'm guessing the elder asked you to come here and talk to me, sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Just like the elder. I, guys, I need you to stop wanting to fuck the birds, okay? There's no bird fucking in chat. I tone the bird fucking chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Avocado. I, li I like him a lot. I think he's a cool bird. I like that the... Um, the Zora and the Raito have like just randomly different species of birds and like fish. Like the fact that the elder is like hey, listen. an entire whale is huh. and no one else is. But he's cool. I wish I was as cool as Teba. I think if I was a bird, I'd be like a sparrow. So. We just want to uh, play Twister. Yeah, not the birds. Sidon. Sidon's hips are too close to the ground. The Zora proportions make me upset. I hate that they have a flesh skirt built into them. It's upsetting to me. You can also play as Teba in Age of Calamity. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> I will not support this behavior. <laughs> so not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Why are all the Raito so rude to me? I thought Teba was a sweet little nice guy. I was wrong. Hmm. Okay, we have time source for the win. They're okay. They're okay. Huh. Five of the targets in three minutes. I mean, hmm. yeah, that's, I can do that. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, come on back. Okay. Sign has little stubby legs. He looks like Johnny Bravo. Exactly. He does. Maybe I like judgmental man. <laughs> I'm telling Goosebox. 
I gotta tell you, Link, when you first showed up, I thought someone was playing a prank on me. Look at his little corset he's wearing. Very suggestive, I must say. He's letting the little midriff hang out over there. What an outfit. I would wear that. I've seen a few. <laughs> Don't give me three minutes to do that, I know. The fact that he did, he had that little faith in me hurts me more, honestly. It's a finder type of trans. We love that. We love that. To be fair, this, this corset, I feel, would not bind well. That would, if anything, make the chest more prominent. But I like the waist part. Honestly, so true. I'm I'm ready for this. Hmm. Also, oh, I forgot to speak on. I read a chat and then replied to it in my mind, and not out loud. Is the Gorons that can go into Gerudo Town because they only have one gender? I actually didn't notice that that they only had one. But I realized that I have, in fact, never s really seen female Gorons. There's just Gorons. We love that for them. Let's check this one out. There's no denying. No. I simply envy his gender. There's, there's no checkout happening. Okay, I am not, I'm not in the line for checkout. They are not scanning my items. I am simply admiring the items from afar. Okay, thank you. What are we doing? Okay, I'm ready. They're monogendered. See, I love Gorons. They're so cute. I like the little baby Gorons. I, the baby Goron Palacin was my lock screen for like an entire year when Breath of the Wild came out. To save the Raito. I can't just watch. I can rescue Zelda. Oh, are we going now? I did not wish to do that. Oh no, it's a tall hot boy versus Teva. No, I definitely don't want to see them. No. I didn't want to start this now. I am not ready. I have no weapons. I guess I can just get in and then leave. I like that Sidon's whole thing, like, made me prepare. It was like, do you have this? If you don't, you can't join. You can't do it. No. And this one is like, yo, you wanna? And I'm just like, what? And then it just starts it. Okay. I probably need arrows. I think I have like 12. <laughs> Girls are my favorite. I just wish they were associated with earth elements instead of fire. Lava isn't fire. That's fair. That's true. This is true. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, the screen, Christian. Use your bombers to destroy the cannons. Oh, he did give me those. Okay. I don't have my code protection on. Oh, I can still prepare. Eh, we can do it. We're good. Go for it. Get shot though. That's bad. One second, I'm just gonna change my clothes mid air real quick. Oh, I have these ones. I don't seem cold. So I think we're good. Can I? Oh. Did it. 
Baba, come help me. Why doesn't he come and help me though? Be careful. He's I thought he would like guide me to the next one. He Sidon like babysat me. Teva's like you got this bro. For someone who was gonna do this by themselves, they're really just like letting me take the lead. She <laughs> has no clue though. I value my sanity. Funny enough. If these start regenerating, I will actually lose it though. So there is that. I don't think they will. Maybe they would in that this state, but not once I kill them. That would be the end of me. This challenge is much easier than the Zora. It requires... Like, I don't even have to get hurt for this one. Well done, Link. Thank you. That thing is history. a lot oh well maybe maybe teba isn't dead okay maybe teba is just still injured and can't fight on you know bad news, Link. maybe like it's still bad but right even there. then i feel like I he would not send uh his son I just hope that I can make it back. also i just learned that tulin You'll is his son middle. i thought tulin was his daughter the entire time good luck not gonna lie. It's all you. I'll just I'll glide right in to this bird's asshole. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Forty shrines. That means something. I don't know what. But it's a milestone. Oh my goodness. I need to cut my hair. Well now, I, I had a feeling you would show up eventually. Oh, as the man, the myth himself. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information. I feel like I'm going to call it here because I don't... I would like to keep playing, but I'm not going to have enough in me to keep playing until we get through the divine beast so i think we should call it here and then we'll do the divine beast uh next stream let me go to cam thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys have a lovely day i've been having so much fun playing breath of the wild tears of the kingdom is coming up so soon it keeps it's going too fast honestly i need to finish breath of the wild it needs to i don't want it to slow down but also i do <laughs> but i'll add my discord we're watching uh atlantis the lost empire for movie night uh, on friday tomorrow um and i'm excited 
And then, uh, thank you, Nick, for tr tr you truly are a big time streamer. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The biggest, the biggest time streamer, some would say. Not me, but some. I'll add the little raid message. We have one for followers and one for subs. And thank you, Hello King. And let's see, let's see who's on. And then I can say goodbye. Um, let's see. Um, do 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 do. Speaking of Resident Evil 4, let's go ra raid Progi Pal. I have started the raid. Make sure you send lots and lots of love. Um, copy and paste in uh, the raid message um, and I hope you guys have such a lovely day my next stream will be on uh, Monday at the same time 7.30 Pacific Standard Time <laughs> goodbye avocado I hope you have a, I hope you have a very good night and good night everyone bye bye